Summer was real. The sun was shining brightly and the air was permeated with the scent of fresh forest. A group of friends decided to go camping to enjoy nature and get to know the world around them better. They chose a remote place deep in the forest, where no one would interfere with their adventures. As soon as they arrived at the place, they tidied up their tents and built a fire. Everyone was in the mood for fun and relaxation. But as night fell, the atmosphere began to change. Around the campfire they heard strange sounds from the forest. Rustles, wind, as if whispering to them some secrets. They began to feel the presence of something unusual. The first night passed quietly, but on the second night strange things began to happen. One of the girls claimed that when she came out of her tent, she saw a shadow gliding through the forest. A second guy noticed his belongings moving around without his knowledge, and a third friend claimed to have seen ghostly figures in his dreams trying to get closer to them. Fear gripped the group, and they decided to spend the night all together around the campfire. But even now they couldn't shake the feeling that someone or something was watching them from the darkness. The group became more and more fearful and suspicious. They began to argue and blame each other for what was happening. But as time went on, they realized that it wasn't just fear, but something much darker and more sinister. Eventually, something unknown surrounded the group. They heard footsteps around the tents, vague whispers, saw ghostly figures gliding through the forest. They were trapped in their own fear, not knowing how to deal with this unseen threat. But at one point, when all seemed hopeless, one of the friends decided to take a chance. He set off deep into the forest, following the shadow the girl had seen that first night. The others stuck together, praying for his safety. Several hours passed, and when the friend returned, his face was pale, but there was a sense of determination in it. He shared that they were on the land where tragedy had once struck. In the summer many years ago, a group of vacationers had died in an accident and their souls had been lost in the woods. Now, after realizing the story, the friends decided to find a way to free the souls of the dead campers and end their torment. They gathered information about what had happened and decided to perform a ritual, which, according to rumors, was supposed to help the souls go to the next world. They gathered around a fire, holding hands, and began reciting special prayers and incantations. As they repeated the words, the air was filled with energy and a magical atmosphere. Suddenly, the forest around them came alive. Ghostly shadows appeared and disappeared, as if trying to penetrate the barrier that the friends had created with their prayers. They felt the power of their words and faith begin to work. Gradually, the souls of the dead vacationers began to visibly calm down. Their ghostly figures began to glow brighter, and they began to move toward the light, disappearing into the sky. Soon the forest around them became quiet and peaceful. The friends realized that their task was complete. They looked up at the sky and felt a weight lifted off their shoulders. They realized that they had been able to help these souls find peace and tranquility. Since then, the campground where they had their adventure became known as a place where strange phenomena occur and where the souls of deceased vacationers are released. People traveled here to learn more about its history and get into the spirit of adventure and mysticism. Friends remained bound by these experiences for life. They realized that even in scary and dangerous moments, when faced with the unknown, the power of friendship and faith can defeat any dark forces. The summer camping adventure was forever imprinted in their hearts and left unforgettable impressions in them. They became more open to mystery and mysticism, realizing that the world around us is full of unexplored mysteries and forces that we can't always explain. They continued their adventures, but now with a new wisdom and the realization that even in the worst moments, stories leave a mark on us and help us become stronger and wiser. Their story of a summer camping trip was a cautionary tale for anyone about to embark on an adventure. They learned to respect nature, to be cautious, and to never forget that the world around us is more complex and mysterious than we can imagine. Summer, a time when everyone craves adventure and relaxation in nature. A group of friends decided to go camping to enjoy nature and create unforgettable memories. They chose a remote location in the forest, away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Arriving at the place, they put up their tents and lit a fire. Everyone was in high spirits, full of energy and anticipation of adventure. But none of them could have guessed that this trip would be the worst test of their lives. The first few days passed quietly. They explored the surrounding area, 
swam in the river and admired the beautiful sunsets. But as the nights grew darker and darker, they began to notice strange things. One night, when everyone had already gone to bed, one of the friends heard rustling behind the tent. He decided to go out and check what it was. When he opened the tent, he saw a dark figure standing in the shade of the trees. He tried to speak, but the figure silently disappeared into the night. This incident startled everyone. Everyone decided to stick together and be more vigilant. But the frightening events only intensified. They heard incomprehensible sounds in the forest, felt the presence of invisible eyes, felt the bone-chilling cold. One night, when they had almost given up hope for a restful sleep, they heard a low whisper. The whispers told of past events, of losses and fears. They realized that they were not alone in this forest. Someone or something was watching them, their fears and weaknesses. They decided to spend the night by the fire, hoping the fire would drive away the evil. But even the soothing flames couldn't stop what was already filling this forest. In the night, they saw ghostly figures gliding along the edge of the light. They heard footsteps coming closer and closer. Fear gripped the entire group. They realized that they were face to face with something inexplicable and sinister. They tried to find an explanation, but all their efforts were in vain. They were trapped in this forest, united by fear and the hope of rescue. Each night the fear grew stronger. They saw one of their friends disappear into the forest and never return. They heard his cries, but there was nothing they could do to help him. They realized that they had very little time left. They decided to follow their disappeared friend and go into the forest to solve the mystery of the place. Their hearts beat faster as they entered the depths of the dark forest full of mystery and danger. As they progressed, they encountered various obstacles and difficulties. There were traps, lost paths, and secret passages. One had to be careful not to become the next victim of this gloomy place. They soon discovered an abandoned cabin deep in the forest. They decided to explore it, hoping to find some clue. Inside the hut, they found ancient books and scrolls covered with strange symbols and drawings. They were records of ancient rituals and spells. They began to study these records, hoping to unravel the mysteries of the place. They learned of an ancient legend associated with this forest. It was said to be haunted by evil spirits and otherworldly forces that feed on people's fear and despair. They realized that they had become victims of these spirits, drawn by their fear and negative energy. They realized that the only way to free themselves was to confront them, to show them that they would not succumb to their sinister influence. The friends decided to perform a ritual that would protect them from the evil spirits. They gathered everything they needed candles, amulets, objects symbolizing strength and protection. They began to read spells and perform rituals, filling their minds with strength and determination. Suddenly, strange phenomena began to happen around them. The wind increased, the trees moved, ghostly figures appeared from the darkness. But they were not afraid. They continued to recite spells and answered the evil spirits with courage and determination. Gradually, the evil spirits began to weaken. Their presence became weaker and weaker and finally disappeared. The friends were left alone, but they realized that they had defeated the evil and freed themselves from its power. They returned to their tent and were finally able to sleep peacefully. In the morning they awoke marveling at their strength and courage. They realized that they had come face to face with real evil and were able to defeat it. They realized that this hike was not only a scary adventure, but also a test of their strength, friendship, and courage. Taking all their equipment, they left the forest and headed home with a feeling of deep gratitude and respect for each other. They realized that that scary night at the campsite had turned into an unforgettable experience that brought them even more together. As time passed, they remembered the adventure more and more often. It changed their lives and their relationship with each other. They became even closer and stronger, their friendship overcoming all difficulties. Since then they decided to devote their lives to studying mystical phenomena and protecting people from evil. They created an organization that helps people who faced paranormal phenomena and evil forces. Their story became famous and inspired many people. They became heroes who were able to overcome their fear and become protectors of others. Their story was unforgettable and reminded us for a long time that courage and friendship can defeat any evil. So ended their long real scary story on a summer camping trip.
Summer was hot and sunny, and a group of friends decided to go camping deep in the forest. They chose a secluded place to enjoy nature and spend time together. But what they didn't know was that the place had a sinister history. After arriving at the place, they pitched their tents and made a fire. Everything was fine until the evening came. It became dark and gloomy, an incomprehensible atmosphere surrounded them. The wind rustled the leaves, and strange sounds were heard in the distance. The friends perceived these sounds as ordinary natural phenomena, until strange things began to happen. Shadows began to move on their own, the tents shook, whispers and rustles were heard around them. Something invisible seemed to be following them. They pressed against each other, trying to figure out what was going on. Soon they realized that they were not alone in this camp. The ghosts of the past had come to life and were stalking them. They were dressed in ancient clothes, and there was rage and anger in them. Each night the ghosts became more persistent and angrier. They beckoned the friends deeper and deeper into the forest, where they did not dare to go. But they realized that they must solve the mystery of the place to stop the curse and free the ghosts. They began researching the history of the campground and found out that a brutal murder was committed here decades ago. The ghosts are the souls of the victims who are hungry for retribution. The group of friends decided to perform a ritual to make peace with the ghosts and try to free them. They gathered amulets, candles, and objects to symbolize peace and reconciliation. In the evening, they began reciting spells and summoning the ghosts. At first the ghosts were distrustful and aggressive, but gradually they began to respond to the calls. Soon they were able to make contact with the ghosts and hear their story. The ghosts endured much suffering and could not leave this world until their killer was found and apologized. A group of friends decided to help the ghosts. They investigated and were able to find witnesses to the murder. They found evidence and passed the information they received to the police. Within a few weeks, an investigation was conducted and the killer was punished justly. After the murderer was punished, the ghosts felt justice and peace. They realized that their mission was accomplished and they could leave this world. On the last night at the campground, a group of friends held a ritual to say goodbye to the ghosts. The ghosts thanked the friends for their help and said goodbye to them. They appeared before them in their true form and gave them blessings and protection for life. Then they disappeared and the surroundings became quiet and peaceful. The friends were tempted to leave the campground for good, but they decided to stay here for a while longer to rest and recover from the ordeal. They spent the rest of the summer surrounded by nature, enjoying the peace and tranquility. This scary summer camping adventure was an important lesson for them. They learned that courage and friendship can overcome any challenge and help them get out of difficult situations. They realized that even in the scariest moments you can find strength and solve problems if you believe in yourself and support each other. When they returned home, they told their family and friends about their story. Their story became a subject of interest and inspired many people. They decided to organize a charity to help people who have encountered paranormal phenomena and ghosts. So ended this long, true and scary story of a summer camping trip. It left a trace in the hearts of the friends and showed them that even in the most terrible moments it is possible to find strength and defeat evil.